What's up guys, Express here and I'm back with another tutorial. Now this time we do a glitch effect. I have two really nice glitch effects that I really like, I'll probably pop out the screen now, uh, that I really like that I made. I thought, what? why not make a video out of it? I thought this was really something else because I've seen a lot of glitch effects on YouTube. So without further ado, I hope you enjoyed this video. Next. So this is my spin on the glitch effect. So a lot of people done the glitch effect, but I thought this, this is way better than the normal glitch effect. And I'll, I'll show you both because both are really easy, really simple. But if you don't know how to do it, it can be really hard. So, so what you want to do is just make a back background, just like boom, like so. That's not really a black, it's more like a just do it like black, black. There you go. So, what you want to do then is just type whatever or use your logo. I'm just going to type whatever I want. I have this font, this Japanese font. And if you type just regular style, just if my name express, it like automatically changed to a Japanese style text. Uh, if you want this font, I'll put this in, in the link in the description, of course. Pretty big, not that big. So you want to have the focus on that. So I'm going to make that maybe an 85 size. Also my file size. So the back is at 1920 on 1920 so but you can do it on whatever size you want i'm just doing that for like the logo purpose of this style that you can do i'm going to make sure that the text is a bit closer so you want to go to this va and put that a bit lower so minus 80 or something like that or like then what you want to do is make of course first a duplicate and how you do that is just a simple control j so once you duplicate it you want to just Make sure the other one is not visible anymore. So you want to right click the duplicate and just want to rasterize type. Okay, and then it's just a normal. You want to make a new layer and you want to get, go to your gradient too. And here you see, this is my gradient, but you can do whatever gradient you want. Um, this gradient is just a, a, a white to a blue to a more darker blue to like a uh, dark purple to more light purple to a yellow to another white. But you can do whatever you want, but I just, um, I have this one. For, I don't know, it just looked, looked better. And also have the option that is um, going from the inside. So, so it's a circle, a radial gradient. So once you go in the middle and go to the outside, you can see you make a circle. And that is what you want. Uh, I just want to make it a bit smaller. There you go. And you want to put, a, put that on top of your text. So you want to make a clipping mask. And how you, do, and how you make a clipping mask is just holding Alt. Go with your mouse above the layer that you want to clip. And then just press with your mouse button on the left button. There you go. And it's clipping mask on top of your layer. I'm gonna make sure that's a bit smaller. So just hit Ctrl T and move it a bit smaller. So you wanna make sure that this little white area is in the middle. Your original file or original text. You wanna move that on top of everything. Okay, you wanna double click that. You wanna remove the fill opacity and put a stroke on there. Something like that. You can choose white, but I'll just want to take a more grayish white. There you go. Put it on center so it's the inside and the outside and put the size around four or five. It's really clean, but okay. Then what you want to do is merge everything, of course. But I'll merge everything with a duplicate. So what you want to do is Control J to duplicate everything. Once you selected everything, of course, and then Control E to merge all those layers together. So what you want to do then is move that duplicate beneath everything. And what you want to do is just Take the duplicate and make it a bit bigger behind it. So like a hold an alt and make it a bit bigger behind it. Okay, what you want to do with that layer is double click on it. And you see these channels, you want to just click one channel. One channel needs to be gone. It doesn't matter what channel, but just choose one channel. So there you go, you have this purple effect behind it. And that's what it makes it the glitch effect. So what you want to do now is you want to duplicate that layer again. But this time we'll double click that layer and remove the fill opacity and put a stroke on that. Uh, the stroke doesn't really matter. I'm going with a blue tone like this that I just used in the gradient. Maybe a bit darker, something like that. Okay. And again, you want to have a like maybe on the two and put it on the center as well. I also want to make that a bit bigger. So like, so there you go. Now what you want to do is you want to do that a couple of times. So I would say three, three, four times. So you want to duplicate that and you want to make it a bit bigger. And you want to do that again, duplicate that, make it a bit bigger. So what you want to do is just right click and rasterize layer style. So that a normal layer, you want to double click on them. So you have your layer style option and you want to remove a R or a G or a B. It doesn't really matter, but then they change color. If you can see, they changed uh, color. 
if you want to change the color you don't have to but i'm going to do that i'm going to make them all, all a different color there you go then now some of them are blue some of them are a different color okay now what you want to do to make that like light effect that pops out um, i'm going to merge everything so merge everything that you just did but first you want to duplicate everything so you can still edit the previous version so ctrl j then ctrl e now what you want to do is hit ctrl t again on the duplicate and make it a bit bigger and what you want to do with that you want to put that below everything you want to go to filter blur and then radial blur and then you have the zoom effect and you want to put the zoom on like a 58 and put it on quality best okay now give it a second and there you go it will have the zoom effect now what you want to do is put that maybe on the screen and lower the opacity a bit now what you want to do on top of everything you want to make a new layer go to your brush make it a bit smaller of course and take some colors that you used in your gradient so i want to pop that right there i want to give it those a bit there okay i want to get that as on oh, that purple as well and put that on the screen of course lower the opacity a lot take your eraser tool make it a bit smaller and just erase the bottoms and the top sides and they're just focused on the text now we're almost there what you want to do then is again um, duplicate everything merge everything so once you're done that you want to duplicate your file again double click on that and go to the rgb channels again you want to remove the r or the g or the b it doesn't really matter uh, the r is going to stay with this one and i'm going to put them a bit to the right and a bit upwards now you want to duplicate that again you want to change the rgb channels again make sure maybe like the um the r and the g is visible and you want to move that to the left and you want to merge everything again so there we go we're having the glitch effect okay and i will also go to filter noise add some noise and a bit of that slight noise like a 2.5 and you have that nice glitch effect that i really like and i don't know what I, I think it's i think it really came out really nice this is a bit easier than the other one but still it's a uh, it's a bit work but not that much so what you want to do again is go to your fonts and type again with whatever you want you can type whatever you want of course something like that doesn't really doesn't really matter because I, I don't know what this says but put that in the middle okay i'm going to remove the background because you, you want to make the text black so you want to go over to your text and make it black okay there you go and now what you want to do is ctrl j that again okay du duplicate Du double click the bottom layer remove the fill opacity put a stroke on that put a uh, light blue stroke on that on the size on the two make it centered that's possible as well and you want to just put that stroke a bit put to the bottom and a bit to the right and you want to maybe do that 12 times maybe 13 times so duplicate that layer ctrl j move that to the bottom move that to the right yeah we have 10 copies i think that's i think that's enough duplicate one of them again but you want to change the color of the stroke so in the in the preview i made it red but you can do whatever color you want i'm going to do red again there you go and you want to make sure that's below everything but you want to move that up make it a bit bigger and you want to skew that so you want to skew that a bit to the top like so so just right click maybe to the bottom well that's too much we can i think we could make that a bit bigger as well and move all move it all the way down like so and now you want to do the same process what i did with the blue one just duplicate that move it a bit to the bottom and to the right duplicate that again move to the bottom so there you go we have the basics i'm going to enable the background again there you go and you have this i think this looks very nice i'm just going to merge all the red ones there you go and i'm going to turn them a bit around maybe skew them a bit more that's just right clicking and skew them okay now what you want to do is merge everything together there you go i'm not going to change anything anymore so i'm just going to merge everything i'm going to duplicate that and go to filter blur and again to radial blur going to zoom again put 85 or 60 put that at the back like so okay and then again you want to merge everything duplicate it again double click go to the rgb channels because this is still a glitch effect and i'm going to remove the g and remove the whole file to the right there you go you have your glitched effect there you go you have the second glitch effect that i really like um like the neon theme 
I really love this team. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this glitch effect tutorial of those two different glitches that I uh, made. I hope you put them in any work that you have, maybe a banner, maybe a logo. If you make something with this glitch effect and post it on Twitter, make sure you tag me so you can like it and appreciate your work. Always love to see what you guys make with my tutorials. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.